to use the auto knife tool, you must have a complex fill or a fusion fill ob object. So I'm going to select this one, and I want this to be not so flat. I want these to be individual teeth. I want this to be a round circle with turning, these individual spokes, and a round one here. All I'm going to have to do is click on the auto knife, and it automatically, that fast, cuts everything for me. Now, it did one piece wrong, so I'm going to select this piece, and I'll show you which one I'm selecting. And it has the actual tooth on it with it, it, itself, so I'm going to actually zoom in on it and use the manual knife this time and automatically or manually cut where it needs to be cut. And now it's a separate object all by itself, and I need to change the stitch angle of it. So I'm going to delete that stitch angle and move it this one here. And then this one up here is not going in the right stitch direction, so I'm going to grab it. and delete this one, but it's not going to let me put another one in because it won't let me do this. So I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to right click and convert this to a complex fill and I want the stitch direction to go like that. Now, as you can look at it, without true view, you have all these trims and I don't want all those trims, so I'm going to select one of them and I'm going to hold down the control and select them in the order that I want them to sew. So I'm going to select all the teeth. And I'm going to right click and go down to sequence by select. And as soon as I do this, it will resequence everything and it runs the closest join. And I have one trim. And I'm going to make sure that that is a satin stitch and it sews first. So go down to sequence to start and now it's sewing first. So if we look at this in true view now, they're all satin stitches and they actually sew first and there are not any trims on the teeth. 